It's been an exciting week for KU Tennis as the team has been preparing for a border showdown with Mizzou and the Intercollegiate Tennis Association ranked Kansas at number 21 this week. This is the first tennis border showdown in nearly 12 years, and needless to say, the energy surrounding the matchup has ramped up as the week has gone on. Everybody always loves a good rivalry, and I think like you always feel that tension, the extra pressure, but it makes it really fun, competitive atmosphere, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. And I think the team is too. Yeah, for sure. I think we're also going to have a lot more fans since it's the Border Showdown. And we can't wait to get them excited about it too. So. Although the Border Showdown adds an extra layer of excitement to the match, Coach knows what the team needs to stay focused on. Uh, being disciplined, being tough, being gritty, those are things we talk about every day. We've got two big matches this weekend, but uh, we've got to focus on Missouri first. And then... Uh, once we finish, win or lose, we'll focus and put our energy into SMU on Sunday. While the Border Showdown is a big matchup, the teams following nine opponents will also be against currently ranked teams. This team will be put to the test, but Coach says everyone likes the challenge. We don't want to breed false confidence by playing somebody we know we can beat. We always want to play the best so we know exactly where we're at, win or lose. We know what we need to work on. We know what we're doing well. So it's about competing against the best and then seeing where you are. And that, that's what prepares you for postseason play, and that's our goal. One thing that is going well for this team is Jocelyn and Roxana winning their doubles matches. The two are currently on a five-match win streak and say it's all thanks to their connection. I think we're really good at lifting each other up. Even when things go wrong, you know, we keep each other pumped positive, so it's just been a really good connection between us. Yeah, I feel the same thing, just about the connection. Even off the court, we're, you know, very open and like we tell each other what we want to work on and what we want to get better at. The Border Showdown starts at 4 p.m. this afternoon at the Jayhawk Tennis Center.